Hello, Wrightwood Ashburn Overcomers Toastmasters Club of Chicago. This is Jim Kakachi, your international president. Happy to provide you with the video in celebration of your 10 years of existence. My gracious, isn't that fabulous? I'd estimate you've helped over 200 to 300 people overcome their fears of public speaking and become more effective communicators and leaders, so congratulations. You know, I was contacted by your educational vice president, Cassandra Lee, so good for Cassandra for reaching out to the to us to uh, provide a video. And I must say, I get quite a few requests, but I was uh, I don't respond to too many. I simply can't handle the volume, but I was very impressed with what Cassandra wrote and how she invited me into the room via video uh, earlier this year. So I offer you congratulations to Cassandra, all the club members, President Mosley, congratulations on 10 years of achievement. Now Cassandra asked me to give three reflections of, uh, of uh, my uh, experience in Toastmasters, so I'll mention three things. First, there's three things that you need to be an effective communicator or leader. And the three things are, you need a base of knowledge, you need a place to practice, and you need feedback. And I've been working on this message and it's been getting good response um, because you know it acknowledges that you can get the knowledge in a lot of places. You can watch videos, you can watch YouTube videos, you can read books, the knowledge can come from a lot of places. But knowledge alone does not make you a strong communicator or leader. You need a place to practice. So if you're in a sales position and you're in front of customers all the time presenting, that's a great opportunity to practice. But even if that's the situation, if you're not getting feedback from a coach or mentor or other Toastmaster members, then you're not going to be a strong communicator or leader. So three things you need. You need the basic knowledge, you need the place to practice, and you need the feedback. And Toastmasters does a wonderful job of bundling all those all together. And I know that Wrightwood Ashburn Overcomers does a wonderful job of bundling all, all those together. Second tip I'll offer, I talked about that in my club here tonight. Uh, you know, anecdotes are extremely popular, and some of the best speakers will tell you that their speeches are based on making a point, telling an anecdote, but an anecdote telling a story. So that's a wonderful model to practice, and I hope you do take advantage of that in your club. Structure your speeches in a way where you're making a point and giving a personal story that you may exaggerate, but that illustrates the point you're trying to make. And the final thing I'll mention is that you know, it never hurts to ask, it never hurts to ask. Cassandra, I must applaud, reached out to me to do this video. And as I mentioned, I don't do all of them, but I was just so impressed with her approach. And the worst that could have happened is I could have said no. But I said yes, and I hope you enjoy this. I hope you do a wonderful job celebrating these 10 years at Wrightwood Ashburn Overcomers. You have at least another 10 more years of success. Congratulations, and enjoy your celebration.